All right, this is the second video explaining and playing the 2022 Montgomery Catholic Drumline Tryout Prepared A2 for Snare Drum. Uh, I have previously posted a video of line one and two, and I had thought I would do three and four, but I think four, line four deserves its own special video. All right, lots to think about in that one. So I'm going to do a brief tutorial of the third line okay so look at the music and we will play this at 110 uh, once again we have lots of dynamics we have uh, a fortissimo note to start with followed immediately by a piano note so we're going to play in the center and then we'll play this rhythm all right so it's and we stay at piano until we crescendo back to forte in the middle all right pay close attention to the second measure all right i was playing this incorrectly for, because normally natural sticking on the second measure would be right right left 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 right not in this case the composer has thrown two rights in where the lefts would normally be. All right, because normally you go. All right, so look at that, and make sure you play it slow enough to uh, catch that and to be able to execute that correctly. The third measure, once again, we have. Uh, all right, if you just look at it on the surface, you might think it's. All right, natural sticking. This is not natural sticking. So we've got right, left, left, right. All right, lots to think about here. So the second measure to the third measure up to the shots would be, and then you just, you end the phrase with, all right, flout in the middle, fortissimo accents. All right, so the entire line at 110, is played like this. Okay. All right, that's line three. Let's bump it up to about 115 and play that again. Stickings. Here we go. Okay. You might want to lean a little bit to get that left accent in. I'm probably not playing a rim shot. I'm hitting the rim. I don't think you can hear a rim shot on this ram pad here. All right. But you'll be able to tell if you hit a real room shot on a snare drum. If you're auditioning on a snare drum, you'll be able to hear the snare response. I'm not sure I'm doing that here. So anyway, I'm not trying out. You are, so make sure, lean a little bit on the left. And you might want to practice that just on the head itself a while just to get the sticking. One and two E, one and two E. So, let's do it again at 120. Here we go. All right, we're getting close to the 130 mark. This is 125. And finally, the, pers yeah, the prescribed tempo of 130. Here we go. All okay. Obviously, you want to play the rhythms correctly. So count the rhythms. Play it as slow as you need to play it. Uh, make sure that that 16th note pickup into bar 2 is not early because you're going to want to probably go... 
a lot of young players do that. They anticipate the 16th note upbeat or pickup note and make that an eighth note. It is not an eighth note. It is a 16th. So it's like... All right. Uh, stickings, playing zones in the middle, in the edge, at the edge from mezzo piano and lower, in the center, or close to center at mezzo forte, forte and above, right in the center. All right. There's not going to be a lot of difference on a pad, but when you're practicing and actually trying out on a snare drum, there will be a difference. So, until next time, look at video one, combine it with video two, and stay tuned for video three where I will dissect all of the paradiddle diddles and the paradiddles. All right. Once you get that pattern in your head, that's all what I'm for is paradiddle diddles and paradiddles. But it sort of happens in a quirky place. So, till next time, keep on drumming.